Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate that. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, just hit that join button. Y'all have a great day and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Do y'all want this figure? Then go on over to Chosen Prime where they can take good care of you, man. They got everything from Transformers, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever your heart desires. Follow that link down in the description and you can buy this Transformer as well. So just tell them that Deluxe sends you and you might actually get a virtual hug. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And today we'll be taking a look at the fifth member of Moon Studios. This is the, uh, the train bots going to form Raiden. This is MS-06 Cool Peak. So we got one more left and we'll be able to form him. That's awesome. So this is the right arm. And there you go. Nice picture. I've already seen, uh, I've already did a, a little unboxing, but you already saw the box, but love the artwork was good. And here he is once again, Cool Peak. Scale one on one, <laughs> and then the back, you got the back, front, uh, arm mode, and the train mode, and the uh, train with the uh, wings. So he's gonna fly. All right, and there's the train once again. All right, awesome, awesome. Oh, up here, Radatron. That's what he's gonna be called. So very nice. Let's take a quick look at what he comes with. All right, first thing, first thing he comes with instructions. And once again, they're fine. I mean, they're really small. You know, a little small printed but shows all the modes. Uh, he comes with his uh, the connector piece with the train mode. They are magnetic, magnetic so you can connect them uh, all of them together and you can chew, chew, chew all day. And he comes with his uh, blaster, which looks really good. Nice red paint. And I think all this kind of a darkish, it's almost black with kind of a gray. It's got a nice uh, sheen to it. So that might all be painted too as well. Don't know for sure, but I know that red is. And you get this piece. So like I said, this is uh, the wings. And I guess you can use it as a gun if you want to as well. Kind of looks like a crow. Because you got the eyes right there. They're red. And once again, it's got that nice uh, same plastic. But I think this is a little lighter than uh, what this one. So this is black paint or black. And this is kind of a gray. So it looks pretty good. Uh, once again, you can open these. And it will be his wings. You can go on his back. And it go in train mode too as well. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, folks, there is Cool Peak in his alt mode, the train mode, and I think it looks pretty cool. Very nicely done. I like it. I like it a lot. These do kind of, these do tend to uh, fold in a lot <laughs> if you're when you're man manipulating them. So just be aware of that. So here's the front of it. Got a nice little gold paint right here. Some red paint. You got some nice translucent right here. Nice uh, dark windows with a tint. Silver. For the trim around it, looks really good. And you can put the um, that little, whatever, adapter right here, you can put it in there. On both sides, you can put it in front and back. Doesn't matter. Nice silver paint right here for the light. Looks good, you got a little fin right there. And turn around, nice red paint, really good. Now the tan looks really cool. It's got like a nice glitter effect. Kinda looks like you went to the strip club and got some uh, booby glitter on him. <laughs> so yeah, looks really good. Red paint all the way. Got some nice smoky windows. Not completely darked out, but very nicely done. Once again, you got the nice vents. Up top, you got like a air conditioner up there. Nicely painted silver. And you got some nice silver pieces up here. And I think this might be painted too as well. This gray. It's got a nice little sheen to it. But I like the uh, glitter and the tan. Looks pretty good. And here is the back. Once again, you got silver for the uh, windshield wipers. Around the, the trim around here. Looks good. You got translucent windows. Very nice. And then the other side. Looks pretty cool. It's nicely done. I like it. You got the wheels. Like I said, it doesn't come with any tracks, but you can use uh, some Lego tracks or something. They work just fine. So there you go. That is pretty cool. That is Cool Peaks. I think it's cool. Name. What's his name? Yeah, Cool Peak in his alt mode. Very cool. All right, real quick, you open up, you spread these open right here, and there is a tab right here and two tabs right there, and there's one right there, and then these little tabs right there. You can just line up real quickly. Yeah, if I can line it up, it's a lot easier behind cameras. And there you go. He's got the wings. Um, I don't know if you could put the gun on. You might could put the gun right here, I guess, if you want to. Uh, I don't think it'll fit in there. Not going to force it, but there you go. There he is with his wings. 
the crow wings. And real quick, there he is next to Magic Square Prowl. You got Siege, Red Alert, and you got uh, Hot Rod from the Alternators line. Just to show how, how big he is in alt mode.
All right, back from transform him into arm mode. Pain in the butt is getting this fist right here. Uh, you have to do it a certain way. Hopefully, I was able to show you do you know the right way. But it is solid. It is really solid. It's got a nice ratcheted, about ninety degrees for that. I don't know if you can go any further. He does have a bicep swivel. Now, if you do straighten it out, now be wary of these. These will fall in on you. He does have a swivel right here too as well. The fingers, three, one, two, on that knuckle right there for the thumb. It does swivel. He does have a swivel and in and out as well. So that's good. And then you got one, two, three points of articulation at each finger. And they can spray out a little bit too as well. You do got some red, blue, and uh, yellow for the paint right there. So not bad. Not bad at all. I like that ratchet. Feels pretty good. So there you go. That is arm mode. Uh, let me get him back into train mode and I'll transform him, him to uh, bot mode.
All right, back from transformation, and there is Cool Peak in his uh, bot mode. Now, uh, forgot to show you on the transformation on the backpack, there is a tab on the wheels and a little slot right here on this tan part right here. You tab that in and make sure these are tabbed into the side right there and look pretty good. All right, so here he is. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, to uh, put the weapon in, you uh, basically, just like the other ones, um, there is a slot on here, and then you just find there's a little peg right there, and you can tab it in here, I hope. Got a lot harder on camera, but you just tab it in right there, there we go, and just close your fingers, and there you go. There he is with that. Now, with the wings, if you want to put the wings on, okay, what you do is you spread them apart. Now, mine was really tight. I had to unscrew that a little bit. Uh, so you can move this up and move this like that and move that like that. And you can have wings. Now, you got this little tab right here. Now, what you do is you're going to have to unscrew this right here. And it is really tight. Just be careful. You don't want to break it. Well, mine's not that tight. Really. Okay. And then if you want that. It was, it was tight the first time whenever I did it, but it kind of loosened it up. So you just tab that in there right there. And there you go. He's got his wings and they move up and down. You know, they move around like that, but you can move them up and down too as well. So just a matter of how you want them. They look pretty cool. Let me take that off. Let me take the gun and then I'll put the thing back in. I'll be right back. All right. Let's take a quick look at him. Like the head sculpt, kind of got the uh, Optimus Prime going on. Love the silver or gray right here for the face mask and for the head crest. And you got the beautiful metallic blue eyes. Looks really good. You got some paint. These are painting the cauldrons or something, whatever. Shoulder pads. You got some nice red paint right here. Some red in there just from the train mode. Also some red from there. And you also got that stuff in the back. Uh, this is painted. Very nice. Like I said, the tan is painted. Got the, uh, got the glitter in there. Got the booby glitters in there. <laughs> From the strip club he looks like a clown two eyes and a nose anyways nice uh this gray all looks painted really well the silver all that and the feet and you got a little backpack but i think it collapsed pretty good like i said make sure you tab that into the wheels and get these out here so it looks pretty good but here's the back now, they're kind of a little, you know, junky, a little bit. Not terrible. They try to close up everything, but it's not the worst thing I've seen. But it's uh, kind of junky back there. All right. Now with the head, so we can look down quite a bit. He can look up quite a bit as well, side to side. And you get a little add to it as well. But yeah, I like the head sculpt. looks pretty cool. Kind of, you know, generic, but it looks very nice right here. All right, so you can go up to here. Now, there are some tolerance issues. This will come, if you don't grab onto this, that will untab real easy. So there are some tolerance issues with this guy. So what I do is just grab that, lift it up. You know, but if you want to use it, you can to get more. You know, it's kind of fugly, but that will untab on both of them like there. See, so just on mine, it may not be on yours, but it is on mine. All right, and you got some nice red paint right there. Right there, I like that, it looks good. All right, you can go all the way around. No ratchets. You do got more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend. It's not a double elbow, but it gives you a lot, so it's really good. Bicep swivel does good. You do got some gray paint right here. let see, once again, that does come untabbed. Okay, with the fingers, nicely done. You got the uh, thumb, and it is on a ball peg, it looks like. And it can swivel and just go up to there, but it does not does not have a knuckle. The uh, does not bend at the knuckle. Now you do have like three point one two two points of articulation with the fingers. Sorry about that. Sorry if we got a little fuzzy, but you got that bend. Uh, they will not well spread a little bit, but not too much. Don't try to break them or anything like that. But they do got two four two points of articulation right there. You do got a swivel. And that's about it. No in or out like that. So not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to move the camera down so we can look at the uh, bottom half. All right. He does have a waist swivel. Very nice. And he does have an ab crunch. Now you have to untab this right here. 
little black piece right there. And it will give him an ab crunch. And I like that he can look up as well. So that is very good. So I like that. So if you want, just tap back, back in. And he does have a little, like that, just because of the uh, arm mode. He does have the, uh, I'm a little teapot thing going on. All right, you lift up the skirt. Lift up that skirt. Lift up that skirt. Lift up skirts. And he can van dam all day, every day. They are tension. He does have ratchets in the front. So you can get up to about right there. Very nice. I like the little pistons. Nice little scope work out there. Go all the way back there. Once again, the scope work. Love the paint on there. Looks really good. All right. He does have a thigh swivel. Very nice. Move down. He does have ratcheted knees. Give him 90 degrees. All right. Move these down. All right. With the feet. Does have a nice rocker. Really nice rocker. It's going to use that little thing in there of a, because of transformation. And you can get a little toe up as well. You have to bring it down and you get a little toe up. And this toe moves too. So you get the whole foot and the toe moves too as well. So not bad. And you got a great rocker. And you got some nice uh, scope work in here. Not bad. Not bad at all. And like I said, there's the back. You know, it cleans up pretty good. Not terrible. All right, there he is next to MP44, which they are about the same height. And then you got a uh, Carbot Sideswipe, also Masterpiece scale. And Crappagon is crappy toilet paper, some Lysol, Care Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks for more scale. All right, there he is with three of them. I'm not transforming Iron, whatever, Iron Fist or something. Uh, the waste, um, he's going to stay in waste mode the rest of his life probably. But there he is with three of them. Uh, I think, man, Iceland is still my favorite, but he is a close second. I really like these two. I mean, after this one, I thought, oh, man, I hope we're going to not be in trouble. But uh, really liking the, I'm really liking him, man. Cool Peaks is really cool. But there they are together. It's It, it looks like a great squad. Can't wait for the last one. So there you go, train bots. All right, let's talk about some Moon Studios Cool Peak. Love him. One of my favorites out of them. Overall, he is really awesome. There are some issues. Uh, the main graphs I got him, uh, tolerances. Right here, That that's really bad on mine, on both sides. You know, so you, yeah, I wish that tab in better. Also, when you lift his arm up like that, this mine's a little loosey-goosey like that. So that's, yeah, that sucks right there. Um, this one does a little too, but uh, this one's a little stronger on this side. Um, and but that's about it for uh, uh, bot mode. Alt mode, the little you know things right here, all around the uh, bottom of the train, they do they will uh, tend to go in and uh, a lot if you manipulate him, you know, during train mode. Uh, but yeah, not too terrible at all. I really like this one. He's fun. Uh, the train mode looks good. Uh, I love the uh, arm mode. Really excited for Raiden. I think it's going to be a great, great uh, combiner. Um, yeah, I like the transformation. Transformation is fine. The first time, you know, it's kind of pain in the butt, especially the hand, trying to put it through that little hole, uh, giggity, and, uh, try to do that. But other than that, transformation is pretty fun. It's not, it's not that bad at all. I like the engineering. It's really good. I, I like the overall look. I think I love the head sculpt. It looks really good. Now the back, it is kind of, you know, you can see the, uh, fingers sticking out there. That is kind of ugly, but you can take it out if you want to. You can, like I showed you during the transformation, uh, you can take that out if you want it. But I like it. I like the parts forming. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's going to be great. Um, and it is kind of, you know, a little ugly back here. Uh, but overall, he looks pretty good. He does got some, you know, little things on the side, but, uh, it's not terrible. 
Uh, but I think the back cleans up pretty good. Once you tab it in, it looks good. Uh, paint, love it. I love the tan. It's got the, you know, the booby glitter from the strip club. Looks good. I love the red. That metallic red looks good. The metallic blue for his eyes. You got some nice uh, gunmetal gray and silver. Very nicely done on the, on the paint job. And I don't think I scratched it very much. So, you know, with great paint comes great scratches. But I think I did a pretty good job. Oh, I don't like this too. I, they did it on one of the other ones. Um, I don't like that. It's going to scratch up there. So, you know, just be uh, wary of that. Um, articulation is really good across the board. I love the head movement. It's really good. You do have an ab crunch, and I showed you, but it is limited. Once you can only lean forward, but you cannot really turn that well and still do the ab crunch. So it is kind of limited, but it is there. You know, that's pretty cool that they threw that in there. Um, but, um, yeah, it's kind of limited there. But other than that, not terrible. I mean, it's got some good range, especially the feet. You got some nice, uh, you know, nice rocker. Uh, yeah, so articulation, pretty good across the board. Um, and the materials feel, you know, pretty good. There are some QC issues, you know, with mine. Uh, but overall, the materials, I didn't think I was going to break anything when I was transforming them. So that's good. But yeah, overall, highly recommend them. Uh, it's a great set so far. Um, yeah, I like it. So hit me up with some like, share, spread to Care Bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. And if anybody, are y'all in, in, in on this set? I think you should be. I cannot wait for the last one to come in and I can form a uh, rating because I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, so I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Moon Studios, man. Golly, I love this stuff. And good night, folks. Oh, um, I will start doing some floor time. I know I haven't been doing it for a while, uh, but I am packing up for uh, to move. So my room has got a lot of stuff in there, so I just don't have any room to do any floor time. But um, I will start doing, once I uh, start, you know, packing up everything, I'll start doing some more floor time. But uh, y'all take care, and man, this thing is awesome. And booby glitter for the win. Yeah. Looks like a clown on his front. <laughs>